Box one support 28 gigahertz and 39 gigahertz. 28 gigahertz is in black and 39 gigahertz is in red. Take a look at all the hardware components in the package. B Box one is shipped with an antenna attached to the RF module by default. There is no need to remove the antenna unless the antenna needs to be replaced. Tap C power adapter. Type C power cable, SPI cable, Ethernet cable, USB dongle. It contains the unique frequency calibration table, AA kit offset cable, and TMX lab kit. Move on to the rear panel of the Box One. On off button, Ethernet port, RF COM port, Type C, SPI port. The following is the connection step. Connect the RF COM port to a measuring instrument, high frequency test equipment, or UD box via sender RF cable. Connect the Ethernet port to your controlling system or PC via Ethernet cable. Connect the Tapsy power cable to Tapsy port. Connect the Tap-C power adapter to the wall plug. Turn on the power of B-Box 1. If the power is turned on, the power switch light will light on. If you wish to use the SPI control, you can connect the SPI cable to B-Box 1. Then, connect each pin of the SPI cable to your controlling system or PC. If you wish to replace the antenna, Unscrew and remove the four screws that tighten the antenna onto the RF module. Pull the AA kit outward to remove the AA kit. The pulling remain on the RF module are SMPM connectors. Replace the antenna with the new antenna you wish to test. Push the antenna inward and when you hear a click sound, the antenna is fastened. Tighten the screws back in place. Go to a website to download the latest version of TMX LabKit. Open TMX LabKit. After scanning is completed, click the device icon above. If the table of the clicked device has not been imported, the screen will show no table. Click anywhere to open the file selection window. Choose the file to import the table and expand the control panel. Click the toggle switch to switch between transmit and receive mode. All available frequency points are listed in the frequency drop-down menu. Please be noted, the dynamic range of each frequency point may be different. Click the toggle switch in the upper right corner of the channel card to switch the channel power on and off. Adjust the slider of decibel and fa in the channel card to control the gain and phase of each channel. When the element gain is minimal, the screen will show please adjust common gain. You need to adjust the common gain before you can continue to lower the channel gain. Click OK to switch to the common gain adjustment mode. You can switch to a common gain adjustment mode on and off by the toggle switch. Adjusting the common gain will simultaneously affect the gain of the four channels on the board. The beam steering function is only available if an antenna is selected. If no antenna is selected, only the channel control mode is functional. Enter following in order. Antenna name. For identification, the name cannot be repeated. Spacing X. Spacing Y. Bing steering range and phase offset of each channel. Click the arrow on the right to expand or collapse the offset input box. After completing the above action, click OK to save the input data and return to the main control interface. Drag the orange point in the coordinate area or set the coordinate values by left and right arrows to control the beam direction. Adjust the decibel value to control the gain of the beam.
compatible with LabVIEW, MATLAB, Python, c -sharp, C++, and other programming language. Please refer to a GitHub for more details information on the API control.